And what Euphoria is, is it's a system that allows us to give our characters biomechanical AI. It literally infuses them with a central nervous system, uh, a brain and a spinal cord and a nervous system and even muscles that allow them to act by reflex. So as Adam throws some stormtroopers up here, what you'll see is they'll try to protect themselves. They know that they're being thrown kind of into the empty space there and that they're about to fall to their deaths unless they can grab onto some of these beams. So they'll actually try and grab on, they'll try and grab onto one another as well. And this is all simulation based. None of this is being driven by animation, uh, which is again uh, really cutting edge technology here and not something that you'll see in any other games except for LucasArts games. And there you can see uh, an example of a behavior of two stormtroopers grabbing onto one another. Again, that, that sense of self-preservation as they try to protect themselves from that fall. Now the other thing to observe here is not only do we have characters interacting with the environment in a very realistic way, but the environment knows about those characters. So these guys know that there's that beam that they can grab on to, but the beam also knows about them. So as those stormtroopers grab a hold of the beam, the beam will actually splinter under their weight and bend and the stress will actually show and eventually they'll break. So again, our games are not just about having you know really entertaining and high fidelity interactions with the environment or with characters, but also having those other characters interact with the environment in meaningful and high fidelity ways. The player is moving the bridge, and Indy's reacting to the moving bridge all by himself. Yeah, Euphoria it. literally gives him a skeletal system, a sense of himself, and he knows how to react. So you can see he's, he's grabbing catching. on all by himself. Yeah. You can imagine how difficult it would be for, a, for an animator to animate all this because yeah. you never know what's going to happen. You'd have to animate every possibility. Here you can see we made it a little more difficult, yeah. so we're throwing rocks. <laughs> so you'd have to animate him falling forward, falling sure. backwards, falling up. Everything. Protecting, protecting stuff. Protecting himself from the the power of the next-gen systems has allowed us to integrate three very complex and robust simulation technologies into the Force Unleashed. That's one part of the three different physics simulations that we're bringing to bear on the Force Unleashed. Euphoria, which is one of the new technologies that we're integrating into the game, is actually true biomechanical AI. Euphoria is the tech that enables us to take a, an animated character and when something unexpected happens or when they're being picked up into the air, they actually can reach for things and it's second nature of the character. They have a sense of self-preservation, a sense of awareness, and what that does for the player is it ensures that no two reactions are ever the same. If you're using the force to grab a crate and you want to slam it into a stormtrooper's face, for instance, what's he going to do? Well, he has euphoria, which is behavioral AI. So he could duck the crate, he could dive out of the way of the crate, he might even grab onto the crate. You never know how they're going to react, you just know that they are going to react. Backbreaker is the first sports game that uses Euphoria. Euphoria is our technology that allows us to simulate human movement in real time. And we do that by simulating the body of the character, in this case the player, uh, the muscles and the nervous system. That means that all the characters using Euphoria are fully interactive. Euphoria originally started as a university research project at Oxford University where we're trying to simulate how humans and how animals move in real time. We ended up with very simple creatures um, learning how to walk in a, in a very wobbly fashion. But already at that point it was clear to us that these characters were truly interactive. They weren't just canned animations anymore. So Euphoria is using the game to handle the interactions between the players rather than just play a, a pre-canned animation, um, which is taken from a, a large library. Euphoria actually calculates the interaction between the players, so it happens on the fly. As developers, we sometimes don't know ourselves what's actually going to happen, which makes it so exciting. All of Euphoria is based around the concepts of behaviors. So we replace hundreds of tackle animations with one tackle behavior. And that behavior is actually um, a real-time simulation of the motor nervous system, obviously simplified so it can run fast enough on a console but it essentially is an active simulation of what the character is trying to do. The Euphoria agents are all autonomous, so essentially they, to an extent, make their own decisions. Um, the downside of that is they'll sometimes do things that we don't want them to. So if you're using a game which uses more capture pre-canned animations, 
we could literally just not put an animation there that has, for example, a uh, grab and a face mask. But with the Euphoria agents, we've got to tell them specifically not to do that. As with everything in Euphoria, gang tackles, because it's interactions, will just happen. It doesn't matter if it's four, five, six, seven, ten guys involved in a gang tackle. The system can just deal with it. Because bat break is a physical simulation, events such as tipping the ball or batting the ball can happen uh, just naturally. Because, mm -hmm. you know, if you put your arm up and you're in the way of the ball, it will, it, you will hit it. And then someone can pick it up. Someone exactly. can you know, get an interception from it, a receiver can grab it and make the yards. It just happens because of euphoria. I'm a huge video game sports fan. I've been playing um, football games and basketball games and soccer games for years. I think people are going to pick this game up. They're going to experience what Euphoria offers. And it's going to be really hard for them to go back and just you know, play a normal sort of canned animation sports game again.